Hello guys, I welcome you all in this wonderful session of daily dose. This is the very first daily dose session for mechanical engineering. And guys, today's topic I have considered is degree of freedom for vibration systems. Okay. Actually, this is a topic which is very important for both GATE and ESC exam. And guys, uh, we may expect one question to be there in both the examination from this topic. And this is a topic where students have confusion. That's why I have taken this topic in the very first session of daily dose. So guys, before we start the session, this is some detail about me. So my name is Dheeraj Tadana. I am having around 10 plus years of teaching experience in this field of GATE and ESC. These are my areas of interest and today's topic is related to theory of machines. So guys, before we start the session, I would like to tell you that if you are looking for GATE 2024 preparations, then my dear, to build your fundamentals, we are starting a series which would be there on Wednesday and Thursday on Baiju's exam prep app where you can join the live session to build your basics strong as well as we will be doing some very good practice questions as well. So guys, you can join live with the experts. So guys, now we are starting this very first daily dose. So I am telling you these are the sessions which would be there from Monday to Friday where we would be taking either a very important concept which may help you in the upcoming exam or some new type of wonderful beautiful question for you guys because uh, as you know both the things question practice as well as conceptual clarity both are the demand of both GATE and ESC exam. So let us start the session guys. So first of all before we discuss about vibration system we need to understand what is actually degrees of freedom so my dear degree of freedom is also known as mobility isko mobility bhi bolte hai. so degree of freedom is defined as the number of independent motions the number of independent motion a system is having or in other words we can say the number of independent variables which are required to define the state of system or i will say state of motion of the system so guys we need to see Ki how many motions are going on in the systems and we need to see how many variables would be required to define that motion. So we are considering first of all a body in 3D space that is a three dimensional cuboid or you can say cubical body. So for this if we are going to see the maximum degrees of freedom possible which we understand generally. So my dear you know there are three axes in three dimension one is x other is y other is z. Okay so we are considering three axes. Okay, so my dear, there are three axes. There can be three translation. One may be the translation about x, other can be the translation about z, other can be the translation about y. One can be the rotation about x, rotation about z, rotation about y. So there are total of six independent motion possible. Okay, when we are talking about when we are talking about a independent independent body. Uh, which is in three dimension space we are talking about. This is in general we define degrees of freedom. Okay. But my dear as I said here we are saying six independent motions. But my dear for vibration system the story is totally different. There it is not like the maximum is six. I will show you one by one with some wonderful examples. So let us start the discussion. When we are talking about the vibration systems these are some basic examples which I am showing you. This is a spring mass system. So my dear first of all to find out degree of freedom we need to see how many bodies are there. How many masses are there. So here there is only one mass or one body and it can have only one motion that is translation motion. So I need only one variable to define the motion of this system. So I will say the degree of freedom for this system is one. Okay. Next is an example of simple pendulum. If you see this simple pendulum my dear, then my dear when it is simple pendulum you know that first of all how many bodies are there. This is only one mass and this one mass can have only one motion that is this rotation motion. So we need only one variable to define this motion that is theta. So degree of freedom is once again one for this system. Then you can see this is a similar system as we have seen this. So for this mass, we can have only one motion. So one variable is required. Degree of freedom for this is also one. We can also have a shaft like this. And on that shaft, 
we can have a disc like this and my dear if we have a disc like this here it is fixed so when you are going to try and rotate this disc this shaft will get twist so initially if you are taking an axis now if you see the shaft would have deviated by an angle of theta so for shaft it is going to be torsion so like if shaft is fixed from here you would be having this kind of twisting so once again there is only one body which is having the mass one body and this one body is having one type of motion so we need once again one variable to define the motion then degree of freedom is once again one for this system then my dear we are moving to the other examples this is the second type of example here if you see there are two masses so first of all we will see how many bodies are there so there are two bodies so if there are two bodies now what kind of motion they can have you know this can have only translation this can have only translation so both translation is not going to be same they are going to be independent just imagine if we would be having one mass okay if we would be having one spring and one mass and after that you have second mass okay so my dear if you have this type of system then degree of freedom is not going to be two because here whatever be the motion of this the same would be the motion of this but when in between the spring is coming if this spring will expand or compress then my dear x1 and x2 would be different and that is why how we are checking first of all you will check how many bodies are there then you will check those bodies can have which type of motions then you check whether these motions are dependent or independent here they are depending on each other here they are independent so degree of freedom for this system would be 2 in the same manner here if you see this is one spring this is other spring you can move this mass in this direction you can move this mass in this direction so you would be having two degree of freedom system here body is one but it can have two types of motion you can also modify this in this way like if we have this as mass then this is one spring okay then this is another spring okay if i modify and put one spring here and one spring here then also my dear there are two types of motion can happen with this body so if you see the number of bodies it is one only but it can move like this and like this so degree of freedom is again going to be 2 okay so here you will get degree of freedom to be 2 then my dear let us see the other example for degree of freedom 2 only if you see this one here this is the mass there are two springs how many bodies only one but my dear this body can have this translation and this body can also have a rotation like this and if it would be rotating like this for this we have x here we would be requiring not x but theta so my dear yaha par bhi do variable chahiye here also we need two variable x and theta so my dear one more example we can have this if we have one pendulum like this other pendulum is attached with this so how many bodies there are two bodies now two bodies one body can have one angular motion other body can have one angular motion are they independent yes you can rotate this by theta 1 this by theta 2 so my dear degree of freedom would be 2 here also okay so likewise my dear i would also give you one more example if we have this as mass m and one more spring once again you have mass 1 how many bodies two now we will see how many motion they can have this can get a translation in this direction let us say x and my dear here also this would be x if it is not spring let us imagine it is having some solid road in between then my dear degree of freedom will be one even there are two bodies but their motions are dependent motion if this is going with x this will also go with x but here if spring expands or contracts this would be x1 this would be x2 so degree of freedom would be 2 so my dear although two degree of freedom system are not in our syllabus but they can ask you that how many degree of freedom would be there so all these are example of degree of freedom 2 so there is no formula which you will apply and get the right answer here you need to run your brain and the way first you will see the number of bodies then their motions and then whether they are dependent or independent. 
Now let us see here we have three masses. How many bodies? Three. They can have three motion, three translation motion. X1, X2, X3. Why they are different? Because spring is there in between. And because of spring, those springs would be having some stiffness, maybe same, maybe different, and they can have some motion. Then X1, X2, X3 may not be same. Similarly, M1, M2, M3, how many bodies? Three. It can rotate by theta 1, it can rotate by theta 2, it can rotate by theta 3. So degree of freedom is again 3 by dm. This is the case. Here you can give translation in y direction, in x direction, in z direction. Degree of freedom is once again 3. So guys, this is how we will be checking the degree of freedom. Now my dear, I am coming on to one case where we will be having degree of freedom more than 6. Yes, it is visible. If we have a cantilever here. Okay. And you are going to apply a number of loading onto that. So because of that loading, you will find my dear. You will find my dear because of this loading. Let us say this is getting deflected like this. Okay. I am showing this with some different color. When it is deflected like this. Then my dear, this point will be having this much deflection. 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 So likewise we have infinite points in the beam. Every point would be having different, different deflection. And in relay method you have seen omega n is given as g by delta naught. Delta naught is static deflection of mass. So here if you take here one mass, this mass is having more deflection, this is less, this is even less, this is even less. So every small small mass would be having different, different, different deflections. So because of that, you would be having infinite possibilities of degree of freedom. So for this case, degree of freedom would be infinity. Now my dear, what is the definition for that? If any system is, if any system is continuous, okay, this is continuous beam. The mass is not a point mass. It is a distributed mass. So continuous or I will say distributed. So for such cases, you would always be getting, Hamesha aapko kya milega? Infinite degrees of freedom. So my dear, I feel that now you understand the concept of degree of freedom. And what it is, how to do this, okay, I feel you got it. So for the check purpose, for the checking purpose, I can go for one question also. Like let us say we have this as a spring, okay, then this is a mass. So my dear, if you have this mass and let us say I am having it to be fixed like this, then with this we have one more spring and one more mass. Okay, one more mass. Then my dear, I am attaching, I am attaching a pendulum with this. With this, I am attaching is ball of mass. Here also I am attaching a ball of mass. So my dear, now let us see how many bodies are there. This is M, this is M. One mass, second mass, third mass, fourth mass. You can keep it M1, M2, M1, M2 also. So how many bodies? Four bodies are there. Now my dear, you need to check. Every body can have how many types of motion. This can have one motion in translation X1. This can have one motion in translation X2. This can have one motion. Individual motion you need to see. This is theta1. This can have theta2. Overall, how many motions you have seen? 1, 2, 3, 4. Now out of these 4, any one is dependent one? No. Because this motion has nothing to do with this one. So what, what my point is? The point is that it is not like if it will go by x, it will also go by x only because this theta will give different motion than that. So because of that, 4 bodies, 4 motions. Now I need to check how many of them are dependent. So they all are independent. So as I will get this point, I will say degree of freedom is 4. So my dear, this is how we will be 
finding out the degree of freedom for any vibration system. So with this guys, we have done all the types uh, which can be asked in the exam. Okay. So I feel you understood the concept and if you want any such session, any such a conceptual clarity on any of the topic, you can message that in the comment section. And if you want to ask any type of questions also, you can ask us in the telegram. Mechanical by Dheera Sardana is my telegram channel. You can uh, get connected with me. Okay, so goodbye for this wonderful daily dose session. Meet you once again for the second daily dose soon. Goodbye.